one of the things that I notice both in face-to-face -face lessons and online lessons is a lot of golfers that struggle with the trail arm. So right-handed golfers, your right arm very much in the backswing position. Now, this fault can actually lend itself to a multitude of issues. So if you're somebody who feels like you can't help but come down quite steep and get that club shaft coming down too steep in the start of the downswing, this is very likely attributed to this problem. And then equally, if you're somebody who feels like you're having to really sort of stand up, then again, this could be one of the reasons that you're having difficulty. And the, the fault very much stems from the terminology which we classed as a lack of width. And, and what we mean by a lack of width is essentially the relationship between your upper and your lower arm gets, gets too close. And if this relationship here gets too close, or let's say the actual upper arm itself gets too close towards the side of your body, then ultimately you're trapped, right? Your right arm gets massively trapped, and this means as you initiate the downswing, like I say, it's gonna get trapped, it's gonna get steep, or you're gonna try and do something like this to rescue it, but it will lend itself to poor ball striking one way or another. So the fix, okay, let's talk about the fix. The fix is straightforward, right? The fix is don't let it bend as much, okay? But the thing is, as a golf coach, I know that you guys are also looking very much for feelings. And the feeling and the feedback that I get from loads of golfers is it feels like you're not really using your wrists. It feels like you're not, you are using your arms, but it almost feels like a no arm golf swing. And the reason for this is a lot of golfers who have this problem with the trail arm also tend to rotate kind of incorrectly. So they end up compensating by pulling their arms. But the point of this session is very much to go from a position of, oh no, I'm exaggerating here to say here. And one of the big things that we to focus on is look where the club head is. So I would always encourage all my students to get as much sensation of width in the first move. So see the way I allow my club head to be a good distance away from my left shoulder as I take that club nice and wide. And then from here, if I was to pause at roughly about left arm horizontal, see where the club head is, not here. And then as I then swing up, then it's acceptable for the club head to obviously start to advance. But if you're somebody who's suffering in your swing, you'll be surprised, and golfers are genuinely surprised, how much distance you can actually create from just getting the club into a good position at left arm horizontal. Because from this position here that I just demonstrated, you're gonna be able to straighten your arm, and you're gonna be able to release that club down on towards the back of the golf ball, which is gonna produce a lot of distance. So try to break it down into two stages. The first stage is you want to be very aware of your club head. And you want to feel, if you're going to do like a, a nice short backswing, left arm horizontal, you want to feel like you're keeping that club head as far away from your body as you possibly can. Then once you're here, your arms can start to obviously drop down as we turn, and then we release that club on the way through. But for golfers who struggle with their trail hand, right, and have had a whole golfing history, maybe forever, of swinging back and getting their arm too stuck. If you've only ever been able to pull down on this club and create steepness or stand up, you've never experienced what it's like to let the right arm straighten. So all of a sudden, if you practice with a rope trainer and just, or, or you know, turn the club upside down or get a lightweight object and just, if, if you experience this position here and then let it straighten, so let it whip. So you can see as I'm here, what I'm doing is I start this downswing is I let my upper arm move to the side of my body as I straighten that arm through, like so. And for golfers who have always been up here somewhere, it's a complete liberty. And you'll be surprised how much further you can hit the golf ball from a half a swing with no wrists. And then once you start to learn how to turn correctly and elevate your arms into a great position, then you're playing a completely different game. Welcome it. I'll see you soon.